I got a skid steer. <laughs> hey, we got something exciting today. Holy smokes, this is fun. So, uh, try to go a long story long on this one. Um, I don't know, it's been about a week ago or so, or maybe less. Uh, Wilson's been talking about doing um, some dirt work, excavating, not really, just kind of odd and end jobs. Um, he wants to get a dump trailer and a skid steer. And I'm like, you know, heck yeah, that's a good idea. You got, you got no choice but to make money with that thing. I'm 100% behind it. Um, so yesterday, this is, uh, you know, say five, six days later, yesterday, dad, Mike and I were talking and they were talking about some, uh, somebody that has this backhoe thing for sale and they were look, they were going to buy it, but it turned out it was a skid steer. Well, dad's already got a skid steer. So does Mike. And, um, so I went and bought it. Check out that. Oh, would you just take in the beauty of this beast? Look at that. And the, and the, the safety here. You got a seat belt, but it has no end. Or maybe it just threads through. Maybe it's just that old. Uh, <laughs> no door, no, um, what do they call it? The uh, lap belt, um, the seat. Actually, I could lift it and pull the whole thing off. It's not bolted down. <laughs> and I tell you what, you run this thing, there's not going to be a bug around you because it smokes so bad. The hydraulics are just as loud as you can imagine. <clears throat> You're going to have to be wearing ear protection for sure. But, but, the price was right. I could not resist. I didn't need it, but I needed it. But anyway, yeah, this could be the start of Wilson's uh, business. If that's what he wants to pursue. If not, hey, I got this awesome skid steer sitting here he the guy before me he put new tires on it um did a bunch of maintenance on it new hoses here and there um the thing runs great yes it smokes but he didn't run it very often so as longer the diesel engine sits the more it's going to smoke when it runs it'll clean up it'll run better um it does not have the quick attach it does not have auxiliary hydraulics to where we can put our little grabber thing on there. But it's got some uh, forks for it. It's got a huge bucket. And the guy said it will work. It will work like crazy. It's got a diesel engine. Uh, what did Andy just say? 58, 48, 58 horse, something like that. Um, he said it never had any issues starting in the winter time. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I know it looks rough. It looks rough, but it, you got to start somewhere, right? I hope, I really hope this will work out for Wilson and get his, his thoughts and dreams going and, and I can use it here in the meantime. I love it. Here we go.
All right, so that was the one thing that I did not show you. Sorry, get a little anxious, get a little excited. Panels removed, panel, panel removed. Seat gone, those back panels. Now I can get to everything and pressure wash it. Those panels gone. Yeah, that's that. So I'm gonna put it on this uh, skid to pressure wash so that way I'm not blasting the uh, grass and dirt back into everything. Also put all the bolts back in the holes where they belong so I don't forget where those go. This guy doesn't belong there. Yeah, let's run over that with the mower later. I know that's going to get demolished. Anyhow, I'm, uh, yeah, ready. Ready to probably ruin things, maybe. We'll see. off to access everything and I'm telling you there is a bunch of stuff that come out from there it was just full it's there it's still there still plenty of grease grime and debris and I hope that's not supposed to be sealed because that is not look a random broken bolt yeah I hope that's not important it's too small to be important Cub Cadet seat. That's pretty funny. Took the seat belts out because uh, they're pretty much worthless. Look how thick that is right there. There's a lot left. Gosh, I spent over an hour cleaning on this and it got too dark to film, so I still got more to do. I need to uh, lift the arms up. Kind of scared for my safety because there's no safety lock to keep it up in the air. Oh, I could. That's what I'll do. I'll turn it and put the bucket down on that post right there. So, anyway, gonna uh, get back to cleaning. Glad Andy brought that steam cleaner over. That made the, that grease and debris off much better, much easier. We all decided I'm gonna go ahead and straighten out these fins before I pressure wash some more because when I was blasting through there yesterday, it was, uh, I don't know, it, there was dirt and stuff coming out, but you're not gonna get any water blasting through there to clean stuff out so got my fin comb set and if I need where to go here it is 
Yeah, the big dog. I don't know. We'll see. figuring out unless the fins are really good shape then you can use this <clears throat> this kind of stuff uh -uh. nope what it does is just it folds them over crinkles yeah I'm just begging for a cheese grater on the knuckles so I'm gonna do best I can with this guy and I think I'm gonna settle for that so We'll see you do a little time lapse. battle plan. I got different tools. Something has to work better than that because that's not cutting it. So I got an array of small things to fit in the fins. I think this is too big. Yeah that's just gonna spread everything out too much. That's too wide. This guy iPhone repair kit thingy. No. This guy kind of wide though. Does a better job in that putty knife though. Pin combs, no worky. So, this is what I'll be doing for the next hour. What are you guys going to be doing? Cool. Alright, well, catch you later. Yeah, good as it's going to get. I don't know how long I took, but I took as long as it needed to get close enough. Yeah. So, the whole point in doing that is the air moves uh, from the engine through this direction. So, you're blowing through the radiator for the coolant of the engine, and then this is the... Uh, radiator for the hydraulics of the engine so uh, if you have those fins all smashed down and whatever the air can't get through there so it's not going to cool that area so if it can't get through this spot then it also can't get through that spot yes it could come up through this little bitty gap right here but you don't have the efficiency that you're wanting to get so you just lose it a bunch of cooling capacity so yes, it's not perfect, but it's a much better job than what's gonna what it was before. Yep.
I'm happy with it. All right, now I'm going to move it around and get the bucket up in the air and get it uh, pressure washed up under the armpits. did the final scrub and rinse actually no scrub it was just a, a, another hot shot and rinse safety installed yep we're all good there could have got that better i think we're okay though got some twine holding the battery down <laughs> we'll address that later miss that spot it's hard to get everything it is hours of pressure washing hours so I'm really tickled the way that thing turned out. It looks nice. All the extra parts, panels, cleaned up, ready to go. Very excited. Really. This is big. I got a skid steer. <laughs> All right. Well, Wilson's showing up here in a few, so I'm pretty excited to show him, see what he thinks. go I'm I'm so excited I am so excited this is great a um, couple things we got to do to it before it gets to work which really all it's gonna do is just move dirt gravel poop whatever um, of course we got to get all the guards bolted back in uh, but number one is to get a seatbelt in there I think I think there's one in that junk tractor uh, might be able to grab that one and toss that one in here, get it going. Because <clears throat> if you, <clears throat> I got a head cold, sorry. Uh, if something happens and that thing is to buck, then you're going over and out quickly. Number two is to get this bucket welded back together. Piece of cake. And... Yeah, go through, grease it all quick, knock the water out of those joints. And, yeah, just use it till hay season's over, so. <clears throat> After that, we'll get it in the garage and start making all the improvements we want to do. <sighs> Very exciting. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.